Hey there everyone, I am Manindam and today I am going to share about my new project which is an MCP server for Dev2. Dev2 is a popular blogging platform and this is one of my favorite platform for writing blogs. As a technical writer, I love to write technical blogs and share that with the community. So I was just thinking, okay, how can I simplify the whole process in an agentic way? And I will show you how you can use it in your cloud desktop. Also, you can use it with your custom AI agent as well. I will show both ways. And the code is also public here. If you are curious, you can check that all those steps are mentioned here. And I will also go through all the steps mentioned here. So first to use this MCP server, you have to clone this repository and you have to go to this folder. As I already have this folder, I will be skipping this step. But when you are trying it locally, you should do this step. So now let's go to our VS code. So you will get this server file here, which is the main MCP server that we are using. As you can see here, uh, we are using the first MCP method. I'm, I'm not going to dive deep into it because I've already created a video. So if you don't know how to create MCP server, you can check that out. To use this MCP server, you need to have the API keys of Dev2. For that, you have to go to the settings page of Dev2. And here, if you uh, go to the extension part and here you have to scroll down to the bottom part and here you will get the API keys and you can uh, generate an API key. And for this, let's say MCP demo. So I have created an API key and as also mentioned here, don't share this key with anyone because for obvious reasons. Now let's go to our cloud desktop. So to use uh, our MCP tools, we have to configure the cloud. For that, you have to go to here and go to the settings part and there uh, go to the developer section. And as you can see, I have already created MCP server and connected it. Uh, so I am not getting that screen, but you will get a screen to uh, edit config. So you have to click there and you will see something like this opening. So this is the config.json file, which will be mentioning the MCP servers and, and the environment that we are using in our project. So let's open it. So we have opened the config.json file. So if you are first time opening it, you will get something like that. And now we will be adding the config.json, which you will also get from the GitHub file. You can get it from here. And as I mentioned here, you have to run which UV to get the path of the UV file. And also uh, where you have installed the repo, you also have to get the path for that. So those two variables should be removed and replaced with the correct path. Now let's go to our config.json again. So here I have already replaced that with my path and you can replace it based on wherever you have stored it. And here I will paste the API key. So our setup is done. Now our cloud desktop should have the access to the tools that we have defined here. And all you have to do is uh, restart the cloud desktop again and we will see the tools mentioned there. So let's go to our cloud desktop. Now you can see the nine MCP tools available. That means we have con correctly configured the tools. If you don't see this, that means you have made some mistakes. You have to check that again. So you can see all the available MCP tools that we can use for now. And these are all the tools that we have defined in the server. So first we will start with asking about the latest articles on dev. Awesome. So as you can see here, it has started the query. So at first it will ask for the permission. I will allow it once. And as you can see here, it has called the function. And here are the latest articles that is on dev2. And if you see it is on April 26, the day when I am uh, recording this video. Now you can see there are a lot of other tools as well. Uh, get articles by username, get latest articles. This one we just use. And we can also update articles, get top articles and a lot of stuff. Now we will use it for creating an article. So as you can see here, we can create an article with this create article function. What it takes, it takes the title of the article, the body markdown and the tags and whether we need to publish it or not. So for that, let's just write it here. I will mention all the details here. 
Now I will add the body markdown, which is and then we will also mention the tags. I will use uh, AI, Gen AI, Dev to MCP. Awesome. And also we have to mention that we want to publish it, otherwise it will keep it as draft. So awesome. So our query is ready. So let's just run this. So it will again ask for uh, some permissions. As you can see here, we will do allow once. It will use that create article function that I have shown you before. And awesome. As you can see here, the blog is published on dev2 and you can see here also the URL is given. So I will just go to the live article. So let's just open this link and awesome. You can see here how easily I have created this blog post using my cloud desktop. And you can also create blog posts like this from your cloud desktop or if you are building your own agent, you can also do this kind of things with uh, dev 2 mcp Now let's see how we can use it with an agent. So let's go to our VS code. Uh, I have created an sample uh, agent using OpenAI Agents SDK and Navius AI Studio. So if you are building an agent, you can uh, follow this method as well. So if you don't know how to build an AI agent using OpenAI Agents SDK and Navius, I have already created a video around that. You can check that out. I, I will link that in the description. This is the main file. So I have just imported the files, the .env file. And you can see all this method we also did in the cloud part. Here we are just mentioning the path, the model name here for this example, I'm just using the Llama 3.370 billion one and uh, the API base URL of Navius. And here in the agent, I have uh, added a detailed instruction here as well for clarity. Otherwise it might be some cases where it can hallucinate. So also added some sample query and links. And here we are using the MCP servers. Uh, if you have seen my previous video, you know how this works. So I will not dive deep into it. Next, uh, we are just creating the Navius LLM here using that async open AI function. And there we are just using the agent here. So I have already created an example query. You can also take that from the user as well. So here we are defining the MCP server. So it's quite similar to what we did with Cloud. So you can see we are just mentioning the params, the UV path, the dev to MCP path, and also setting up the ENV uh, with the dev to API key that we have already set up in the environment. Next, we are creating the agent with uh, this function that we have used previously. And then we are just running the query using the user query and we are just printing that. Now let's see it in action. I have already created an virtual environment called dev to MCP. So I'm just into it. I have also installed the packages required for it. You should also do that. And now I will just run this using Python 3.py. As I am not passing any query, it will just take the base query from the example that I have already set. So now let's see how that works. So you can see here, find the latest article on dev2. You can also see the logs here. You can see it is calling this API and the response is 200, which is good. Now let's just wait for it to print the answer here. And awesome. As you can see here, all the articles are published here. We have also seen in the cloud desktop part and we have also worked it with the OpenAI agents SDK and you can use it with any other agents, whatever you like. You can use Pydentic AI, you can use Agno and any other agent frameworks that you are interested in. And the process is very simple and that's it. So it is that simple to use dev to mcp to fetch the latest article and create your own articles and you can do a lot of stuff with it. And I will be adding more functionalities to it in the near future. The project is completely open source. So if you're interested, you can also contribute to it. I will really appreciate that. And if you like this project, I would love uh, your support here. You can start it and you can also create some issues, uh, contribute to it and add some more functionalities with it. Also, if you find any issues with it, feel free to reach out to me and thanks a lot for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.